Welcome to this Ace Reader speed reading software tutorial. This tutorial provides an introduction to Ace Reader Elite's administration functions. To enter the administration functions, we need to log on as the special user called admin. Then from the startup screen, just press the administration button. Notice we are brought to the admin tab. From this screen, you can access all the administration functions. There are basically three main areas of administration. You can set global settings that apply to all users from here. You can manage users and monitor their progress from here. The rest of the administration functions provide editors that allow you to customize the tests, drills, and games. The first function I want to introduce you to is how to set the base reading speed options. To enter that function, just select the Set Base Reading Speed Options item in the list and then press the Perform Admin Function button. Alternatively, you can just double click on the list item. Let's first discuss what your base reading speed is. This is an important concept to understand with Ace Reader. Your base reading speed is simply a number that represents your reading rate in terms of words per minute. Each time you take a self-paced reading comprehension test, the program is able to calculate your reading rate. If the criteria specified on this screen is met after taking a self-paced reading comprehension test, then your base reading speed is updated. This is important since the reading improvement drill activities will pace you at higher speeds relative to your current base reading speed. Specifically, this screen allows you to specify which test results to filter out when determining your base reading speed. All these defaults are typically fine, but you do have the ability to change them if you want. Let's quickly walk through these options. You typically want to filter out repeated tests since you typically want to judge your reading abilities on fresh new material each time you take a test. You can filter out test results that indicate you read extremely slow. An example of this is you started taking a test, then you were interrupted before completing the test. You can filter out tests that indicate you read extremely fast. An example of this might be you started taking a test and did not really read the story but then hit the done button right away. You can also filter out tests that do not meet a minimum comprehension score. Again, these options allow you to define the criteria used by the program to set your base reading speed. Your base reading speed is important because the drills will pace you at higher speeds relative to your personal base reading speed. This is a simple yet sophisticated feature that you will only find in Ace Reader. Ace Reader will intelligently help you reach your goals but in a methodical way that also considers your current reading abilities. You can then press the OK button to save these settings. I'm now going to enter the miscellaneous options. This screen provides you with a general set of options. For example, you can force course activities to be performed in order, or specify you need to complete the activities before marking them as done. You can specify how many course activities to perform each day. You can also change the font and font size for the story presentation when taking the reading comprehension tests. Then press the OK button to save these settings. The next set of functions have to do with managing students and monitoring their progress. You can add users. For school environments, you can assign students to classes. You can remove users and remove or reset passwords. You can also view, clear, and export test results. Please refer to the logon tutorial for specific instructions on how to add users. To monitor the student's progress, enter the View User Comprehension Test Results function. The first view option is what you select if you want to look at the test results for a single individual. You can select a student and then press the View Test Results button. You will see exactly what the student can see for themselves. It provides a table of their reading speeds and comprehension along with additional information. You can also view their graphs by clicking the View Graph button. You can also view the detailed test results for all users or everyone in a class. Let's pick View Test Result Details for All Users and then press the View Test Results button. This will show you all the test results for everyone. You can also press the Generate Report button to create a document that you can print. Notice there is a Filter Options button. This allows you to tailor what test results you see. These options are just like the base reading speed options that we already covered. 
These options allow you to filter what test results to include in the report. It's reasonable to keep all the defaults. You can change the filters by unchecking this checkbox. You can turn off all the filters if you want by selecting the View All Test Results No Filtering option. If you select this option, you will see every test result. A handy way to quickly monitor everyone's progress is by selecting the option to view test result graphs. Let's pick View Test Result Graphs for All Users and press the View Test Results button. You can then press the Next and Previous User buttons to quickly see the graphs of all your students' reading speeds and comprehension scores. Notice the student's name is shown up here. The rest of the administration functions provide you with built-in editors that allow you to customize the tests, drills, and games. Let's walk through how to create your own reading comprehension tests and flashcards, since those are two popular activities. I'm going to select the comprehension test editor and then press the perform admin function button. This editor lets you create your own reading comprehension tests. I'm going to load an existing story by pressing the open button. I then select the first test and press the OK button. The story is shown up here and the questions and choices down here. Notice the radio button here is how you specify the correct answer for the multiple choices. Let's walk through the quick steps you need to take to create your own reading comprehension tests. To do that, I'm going to press the new button to clear the form. I'm just going to type something short to represent the story. You can type in the story or use copy and paste to fill out the story field. I'm then going to enter the minimum requirements for the questions and choices. You need to have at least one question with two choices. I also need to select which choice is the correct choice. Let's say that I filled this form out with a real story and real questions and now I want to save it. To do that, I press the Save As button. Since this is the first time I'm saving a test, I need to create a test set. So you need to press the Create New Comprehension Test Set button and enter a test set name. This is a name given to represent a group of tests. You now need to specify the name of this specific test and then press the OK button. I have now created and saved a new test. Now let's see how you access the new test we just created. I press the Done button to leave the editor. All custom content is accessed from the menu mode, so I click the menu mode tab. Then select the first menu item to perform a self-paced test. Now select Your Test Set. You will then see the one test we created in your test set. You can then take that test by pressing the Begin Comprehension Test button. You now see our demonstration story. Now if you press the Done button, you will see the demonstration set of questions we created. Now if you answer that question and press Done again, you will see the results screen that shows your reading speed and comprehension score. We have just created a custom test and also demonstrated how to take your custom test. Let me show you one other editor since you may find it useful. One of the other games is a flashcard game. Let's see how you would create your own set of flashcards. Let's go back to the Admin tab and enter the Flashcard Game Text Editor. Notice at the top we explain the exact format for entering the flashcards. Rather than enter anything, I'm going to open an existing flashcard set by pressing the Open button. Let's pick the two times table for demonstration purposes. Each line represents a flash card. There are six fields surrounded by double quotes. The first field is the flash card question, 2 times 1 equals. The third field is the correct answer. And the fourth, fifth, and sixth fields are incorrect answers used in the multiple choice questions. Notice I skipped the second field. You can leave it blank if you are creating typical flashcards. 
If you enter text in that field, it will be presented on the flashcard answer screen. Now let's pretend we entered all the flashcards and you want to save them. You press the Save As button, then give it a name and press OK. Now to play the flashcard game with your flashcards, I'm going to press the Done button. Then click on the Menu Mode tab. Then select Play Eye Training and Brain Games. I then select Play Flashcard Game and press the Begin Game button. Once we enter the game, you can press the Options button. You can now select your flashcards from the text list drop down and then press the OK button. Now if you press the spacebar to begin the game, you will play the flashcard game with your set of flashcards. So now you know how to create your own flashcards to be used with the flashcard game. You are in effect able to create your own game using your own custom flashcards. There you have it. You now see how AceReader provides you with powerful student monitoring and customization capabilities using the administration functions. You don't need to do any administration, but these functions are there if you want to use the full power that AceReader has to offer. You can also refer to the documentation from the help menu or by downloading our manual from the AceReader support page. And as always, you can contact us if you have questions.